Hey guys, Thermal here. It is day three since Shadowlands release. I'm sure most of you are level 60 or close to it. Just wanted to make this video to go over some of the things I've been doing, uh, how I've been finding Marksman Hunter, as well as choosing, as you can see, Kyrian as my Covenant and, and the moves that Marksman Hunter has and how that goat performs in PvP as well as PvE. Also gonna go over Torghast and um, doing dailies in the moor. First thing I want to say is make sure you complete all your campaigns. You need to finish all the way through uh, Revendreth, get all of those campaign quests done. It'll lead you on to choose your Covenant ability. And then from there, you'll get introduced into the moor and then you'll get to do Torghast after that. So just follow those campaign quests until you get to Torghast. On the first week, it is locked at layer three and you'll have two wings to complete each week. So you see, I've um, defeated Soulforge's Layer 3 and Upper Reach's Layer 3. Uh, it is fairly difficult to do. It's a lot easier for me because I'm a hunter and I can just use a pet to tank a lot of the mobs and I can also use my freezing trap when there's two elites. You can kite around a lot of the mobs as well, like using Binding Shot, Concussive Shot. Um, so there's a lot of tricks that hunters can use. I know um, I've got a friend, Warlock, that found it pretty easy to do as well using his Void Walker to tank, uh, using Fear as the CC, but just take your time going through uh, Torghast with the pools. Think about um, your limits and also I would recommend putting this off if you can't do it. I'm currently uh, 168 item level, so it wasn't too difficult for me to do. Um, at that item level, but I think when you hit max level, I think you're probably 135. And so I would recommend spending most of your week just finishing those campaign quests uh, every day going to the moor because you can get um, an interactive award. So like when the swords come up, there's a, um, a quest you can do that awards you 183 item level gear. I'll show you which one I got. It was these shoulders. So I've gotten uh, that from the Moor. I also got some mythic pieces as well from... I've done three mythics so far. So I've gotten two pieces in those three mythics. It's pretty good. I've also just filled up um, some other slots with uh, random heroics and then also some PvP gear as well to just um, buff up that item level as well. So the reason why you need to do... Torghast is because you want this Soul Ash. That is where you're going to be able to craft your legendaries. So every week you want to clear the highest layer you can in both of the wings. That's something you should be doing every week. But you can leave it to the end of the week. You don't need to do it at the start of the week. You can leave it when you're the most powerful when you're going to be able to clear that the best. So my recommendation is trying to you know run the normals, learn the dungeons, then try and to get into heroics, uh, dungeons, and then mythics. And once you feel strong enough, then you should finish Torghast for the week, as well as doing the dailies in the moor, because the vendor in the moor use what's called Stygia. You get this from killing mobs. You also get it from completing the quests in the moor. And you are able to buy from the vendor the ability to put gem slots on on items that don't have gem slots. So this is going to be able to increase your player power. If you're just interested in PvP, there's actually not really any reason to have to PvE. Like these trinkets here, you can see the damage and healing benefit of versatility is increased by 40% when in arenas, battlegrounds, and war mode. So every single PvP gear has a lot of versatility on it. So then, if you just deck out your whole character in PvP gear, your versatility is going to be really high. You're going to take a lot of less damage. You're going to be putting out a lot more damage. And also, when you use your, your healing moves like Exhilaration, like for me, I can use File of Serenity because I'm Kyrian. Or if, like, I use a Hellstone, those are all going to heal me for a lot more, as well as taking less damage. I would say complete every Mythic, so you can check which mythic you're locked to in the uh, raid info. So I've done Sanguine Depths, the Necrotic Wake, and the other side, which means I have five more mythics to do by the end of the week. The last thing I wanted to say is make sure you're doing your Covenant dailies. So every um, 
I think you have three days to do them. You'll see little quests pop up in your, your covenant area. Um, make sure to do those because those help you progress your renown. And the renown system is actually really important uh, for progressing your player power. So this week we can get to a maximum of three. So first, you know, you get to one when you join. But then to get to two, you needed to get a thousand anima. And if you don't know where to get anima from, it's usually doing world quests, doing the first random battleground, as well as doing the first heroic or normal dungeon. And you put your uh, anima into this system, the Sanctum Reservoir, and with that you're able to purchase these. So I've got um, level 1 in the transport network, and I've got level 1 in the command table. So the command table is up there for Kyrian, and this is my gateway so it just allows me to travel somewhere else so I can just instantly teleport around it makes it a lot quicker I'm just gonna go over the rotation I've been using in mythics and um, most hunters will probably be using the same rotation just to start it off I'm using double tap so that's going to give me two aim shots when I use it I can put down a binding shot before the pull you can use um, so volley will allow you to get your trick shots for the full duration of that so you can get two off you then can explosive shot and then start on your rotation uh, you can also use true shot as well if you want to get more um, more damage off during the volley so for anyone that doesn't know volley when you cast volley you have five seconds of trick shot and trick shot allows your aim shot and your rapid fire to bounce up to five targets at half the amount it hit the original target. So it's really, really high DPS, and I did get up to 14k just off of one pull using that, and I have been finding that Hunter is really strong in Mythics uh, for DPS. We do have a Heroism pet, like you can bring out your Heroism pet, cast Heroism, but then our damage is going to be slightly less um, for having a pet out. Um, but that's some of the things we bring to the table. The other thing is obviously binding shot and some of the trickier pulls. We've got our trap to CC, um, concussive shot to slow targets down when we're needing to kite. Um, basically, we've got a really, really good kit for soloing anything. So like when I'm in Torghast, I'll use my uh, apes are pretty good. The reason why is because it's a ferocity pet. It gives you the leech. Um, but it also gives you heroism as well for when you're needing the extra DPS. Um, so you can just misdirect your pet, pull something, and obviously you got feign death as well if you want to get less aggro as, as well. Another big move we have is resonating arrow. You can see um, this gives us 350 mastery as well because in Pelagos. Resonating Arrow increases your mastery by 350 for 10 seconds. That increases our DPS by quite a lot. So to give an example, usually I would do a 7.4k aim shot crit, but when I use um, the Resonating Arrow, that will do 8k crits. So it's, it's quite a reasonable DPS increase, probably around maybe 10%, I would say, um, approximately. Um, but that's also really really useful mostly in PvP but there has been some fights where you need to hide behind a pillar because uh, you need a line of sight otherwise you take really big AoE damage and I've been able to just resonating arrow hide behind get 10 seconds of extra damage and then come back out and continue my rotation so that's I, I really think that um, marksman hunter is looking very strong we're good in mythics we're good in PvP um, we're gonna be good in raids I think as well we do offer a lot to a group. We are a little bit selfish in that, um, you know, we we don't exactly help the group in ways that will buff their damage, but we allow them to not take damage. So binding shot, concussive shot, all those things, ice trap, uh, tar trap, just slowing the mobs down, allowing our teammates to take less damage, give giving the healer an easier uh, life, pretty much in 
in the run. So that's it from me. I know it's been a bit of a, a long video. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to put out, but I wanted to continue making content going into Shadowlands. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Sorry about the lighting. I'm filming at night currently because it's just the best time I could do it. Um, and yeah, if you, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. And if you want to tell me how your experience has been in Shadowlands, then leave a comment. Let me know what covenant you've chosen, what class you're playing, how you've been finding it, whether you think your class is good, whether you know some changes need to be made. Uh, one thing I have been finding is that while I can put out a lot of damage, I'm also a bit of a glass cannon at the moment in PvP. So if a rogue jumps on me, then if I don't have a trinket up, they can kill me almost in the five seconds so basically if <laughs> I have like one second to quickly trap them or I have to, to shell or heal otherwise I'll just die so I need to blow like some sort of defensive or some sort of defensive trap to make sure I die so that's one of the downfalls I'm finding about Hunter I don't know if uh, rogues are just super powerful at the moment or maybe that's just the way I need to start playing my marksman Hunter just a bit more defensive um, but I have really been enjoying the play style and um, I think it's going to be really good going forward. So I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever it is. Uh, bye.